Hey, today we're talking about culvert entrances and exits. Now, there's going to be some nuance and some other aspects of, uh, of installing these um, that you'll need to know, that you'll learn through practice and uh, maybe some other uh, training material. However, what we're going to primarily talk about is how do we arrange the entrances and the exits so that water is going to uh, do the right thing what we're doing for uh, what we're doing in, a, in uh, a culvert for in the first place now a culvert is essentially just a large diameter pipe that water is just going to flow through it doesn't really have uh, necessarily catch basins or anything like that just water can flow through either through a drainage ditch a creek something like that or uh, underneath the driveway so that water can pass through that's the most common one you see, is where you see the drainage ditch in front of the house and then they just put a culvert there so water can pass through from one side to the other. Uh, but most of the time when we're doing culverts, there's gonna be rushing water onto a property and it has the potential to erode. So erosion is just essentially carrying soil, moving soil away from where you want it. And what we have to do is we have to, uh, we have to stop erosion where we don't want it. And we have to also stop sedimentation where we don't want it. And sedimentation is the opposite of erosion, depositing sediment where we don't want it. And uh, so what we're gonna talk about first is entrances. And um, this is, these are just some diagrams of uh, what's good and some mistakes we can make and I'll explain that. So what we want when we're doing a culvert entrance, uh, especially with fast moving water. Now this is not gonna be the same on driveway uh, situations, we'll talk about that. But when a culvert has fast moving water onto a property, it's like just torrenting through a, uh, a dry creek bed or something like that. Uh, we need to collect it as effectively as possible. And we're gonna install the culvert. This is the ground level. You see that the, the, the culvert's like sent just a little bit lower right here. That's where, this is where the water's coming. We can make some adjustments here. But what I want you to focus on here is that this is, these little circles are stone. That's what we're using, we use riprap. So what we'll do is we'll install the pipe down here and we'll build a wall around it of dirt. Um, typically dirt, you use cement and things like that. Then we lay uh, geotextile fabric down and then we install stone around. And we can even do the stone all the way up on top depending on how much we get. Um, we can do this if we, it winds up getting overwhelmed. The stone, what it does when the water comes in, it breaks the force of the water so it doesn't erode the soil behind it. And it'll force and, it, and it'll, you can funnel the water to the pipe. This is what we want to see. We want the pipe entrance to be clear. We don't want anything stopping water from, uh, from entering the pipe. And, uh, and we'll talk about it here, um, uh, here in a moment. So the idea is we're gonna want rock all the way around the, uh, wherever the water is gonna hit and change direction, we want to protect that with stone. Typically you use riprap, we can use in more decorative situations, a, a river rock um, that's more expensive, but it looks nicer. Uh, so here's an example that's pretty common to make on an entrance, and this is also an exit. You don't want to do this with an exit either. Is um, you know you get the idea of where water has to come through and stop erosion on the outsides. However, if you're not thinking about what's going on, um, uh, you can you can actually up impede uh, water in the front. You see where the what's wrong here is that the the rock goes in front of the opening. Now, why this is a problem? is that initially, in the very beginning, yeah, water can filter through, but event, what's gonna happen is that water's gonna hit, that that's gonna bring all kinds of sediment and stuff with it, it's gonna hit that rock on its way into that pipe, and it's gonna drop its sediment. That's what sedimentation is. Once it, when water changes direction, when it comes into a force, it changes, it has to hit something and move, it drops its sediment, drops things, and so that's what's gonna be sedimentation. Eventually, over time, in this situation, you're gonna have water and debris is gonna come here and, and, and just collect onto that. This is all going to start building a sediment layer. It'll be a very solid sediment layer on the outside. And now this sediment layer, if this is the entrance, the sediment layer is gonna be out this way. Uh, it's gonna be building out away from the pipe and it will also hold water in between that time. It'll hold water in front of it. So it's no good. It's not gonna do what we want it to do. Yes, you want the rock over here to stop erosion because all that water is coming through and hitting and you don't want it to erode, but you do not want to put any obstruction in the front. And then this is just a variation of the same thing. Don't want to place rock in front. This is a misunderstanding. This comes from a misunderstanding of what the water is doing. When you have a big culvert, you really have a lot of water coming through. You have to prepare for a big force of water coming through. 
and this is exactly the wrong place to put the rock, is right in front of the culvert. You need to put it around so when you build your, your earth funnel that you don't cause erosion. And for the same reason here, the sediment, you'll eventually just sediment this here and create a moat right up here. You don't want that. Now exits are different because on the entrance side, as we talked about, the water's coming through and it's hitting the sides and then going into the pipe. On the other side, typically, uh, and if you're dealing with a culvert where the, it has a good amount of slope, it comes out much faster on the other side. So we have to stop erosion. And we have to stop erosion in a different location because when the water's coming out of the pipe, it hits different places than when it's going into the pipe. Um, same thing, like if you're trying to pour water into a cup versus pouring it out, it winds up, it's a, you have to use some different principles. Now, um, this is the right way. If you can imagine how we're looking at this, we're kind of looking at this um, like we're, we're standing up, looking down. Uh, we're elevated above and you can kind of see this is, this is like going um, downhill of the culvert. That's why it looks this way. So we're just looking at this culvert entrance uh, exit. I mean, looking down and we're looking, we're looking down at it like that. So the right way to do it is to orient your riprap and your erosion prevention right at the exit where the water is going to rush and hit. The goal of this is to uh, slow down the water, slow it back down to its original speed to where it's not going to cause any more, any undue destruction. Water's going to do what it's going to do. You can't really control it once you know, it's got to go, but we have to slow it back down. Uh, and so once it's sped up through our pipe coming out really fast, we slow it back down and then we, then it goes on on its normal course its normal speed to wherever it's going to go after that. And this rock bed could be different sizes depending on the volume that we're dealing with, the volume of water, the speed, what we have to protect on the other side. Those are all going to be variables. But this is going to be a, uh, this is what's going to stop us from eroding the ground and causing a big, uh, you know, washing all the soil away. Um, and sedimentation, once it's, it's, uh, it's come, once the water's come out, it's okay that uh, it sediments. That's just what's gonna happen. So these rocks eventually will become full of dirt. Um, if the customer wants for aesthetic value to stop that, they'd have to clean it out. But what'll happen once it sediments, it's not going to cause a real problem unless it starts to obscure, obstruct the, uh, the pipe. So this is an example of what not to do. The reason you don't wanna do it this way is because this is actually helping at all. I've seen this as well, uh, where on the exit, you just basically do the same thing as on the entrance. The problem is this is where your erosion is. There's no erosion possibility on the outside at all. So if you just stack up all the pipe here, but you don't do, I mean, stack up all the rock here, but not in this location, you're just gonna have full erosion. You're not protecting anything over here. So you have to understand what's happening. On the exit, water's coming out, and this is gonna be the area where it's gonna cause destruction. We have to take that into account. Now, it doesn't mean you can't stack rocks over here for aesthetic value, right? That could make it look fine. Or if you have some other erosion going on that you need to take care of, but you're always gonna to need to have stone here. Now, um, here's one more that we don't want to do, is you have everything looking right, but then you see there's a, a, there's a covering of the, of the profile of the pipe, of that cross section. You don't want that because what'll happen just like on the other thing where the sediment, the other side, where the entrance is coming through, you'll create all this sedimentation in front of it. What will happen is that this will actually cause, if you block up the exit at all, you'll actually cause sedimentation in the pipe. So you can, uh, this is how a lot of culverts will fail over time. They will, uh, they'll be neglected. Uh, the installer will push a bunch of rocks up in the front just so you don't see it. And what will happen, they'll sediment and sediment and sediment and sediment will keep on building up underneath it. And then eventually the entire culvert's clogged and you just have to install a new one. It's extremely expensive. Don't do that. Rocks on the out, just a, a few large rocks on the end of a culvert can really actually destroy and clog up a culvert forever. So uh, those are gonna be, these are some of the principles. Now, this is, this is generally, these are generally principles with culverts with fast moving water. When we're dealing with normal water flow through a drainage ditch in front of a house, like in, uh, for a driveway, uh, normally that's gonna be pretty slow moving water. It can move quickly and you're not always going to be having to do uh, uh, riprap because you're not dealing with really fast moving water. You're kind of just move, water just needs to move from one side to the other. Uh, and so the erosion, the erosion is not going to be quite the same. And you're typically dealing with flat surfaces at that point. So 
this is a poor diagram, but this is meant to show what uh, kind of like a cross section underground of what a culvert under a driveway looks like. So this will be the the rock. This will be the driveway on top. Like someone's driving this direction, and this is going to be as if we're looking inside of the ditch that's right underneath the uh, the driveway. So we're just like halfway through the the ditch, so we can see what's happening here. What the the reason that uh, the what you see being done with culverts under driveways is you see waters flowing um, flowing this direction and then it comes out the other side. It's meant just to keep water flowing to not create a big dam on this side when they put in a driveway. Now, um, because these are typically very flat, and you know, they'll have some slopes to them, but they're not gonna be very, very sloped at, at all, like maybe 2% or something like that. You cannot put rock in front of the exit or the entrances. You can't put rock here, um, even out here, because what will happen is that that will cause the, the sedimentation that we talked about all the way through here. All that sediment will hold up. If the water's going this way and you put a couple rocks here, or just a few rocks on the exit, you will have, um, you will have a problem with sedimentation over time. So you, when you're dealing with a culvert under a driveway, generally speaking, you're not gonna put stone in front or at the end, uh, right at the pipe. You might put it around the sides because it's really steep, but you're not going to be doing it um, this way.